What is up guys, welcome back into the channel. If you are new, thank you for stopping in. So today we are gonna be talking about a vehicle I've owned for the last two weeks. I bought this vehicle exactly, actually it'd be two weeks and a couple days because it was like this past Saturday, it'd be two, two weeks. But um, I wanted something good on gas. Um, I didn't want to go out and spend $8,000 on just a vehicle to get me from point A to point B. Um, this vehicle has been in the family for some time. I know the owner, it's been very well taken care of. Um, like I said, I just wanted something to go from point A to point B, save me gas uh, while the 98's getting fixed, while um, the 79, I just don't want to drive it every day just because, yeah, it's 70 or 42 years old. So it's a 79 and it's one of those things that's no way you see, so you literally have to have the windows down if it's blazing balls out. But um, no, spent two grand on this vehicle. Um, I think it was a great purchase. Um, I've literally been driving it every day for the past two weeks, like I said. And uh, yeah, so without further ado, here it is. So guys, this is a 2012 LT Chevy Cruze. It is the 1.4 liter with a turbo, um, the Rally Sport package. So this was my mom's car. She's owned it for, I'd say the last, I don't know, six years maybe. Um, maybe not quite that long. But anyway, she's owned it. She bought it with like 75,000, 80,000 miles on it. The lady she got it off of basically used it to drive to and from work, which was all highway miles. And then mom ended up moving up to Greensburg and that's an hour drive from her work so it's literally just had haul highway miles on it from her um, so it's been a fairly good car for mom there's been a few problems with it um, but she got those fixed right away it's got 225,000 miles on it I believe yeah 225 773 um, it's got the sunroof, windows are tinted, it's the leather seats. Leather's not even tore up in these. Um, back seat's not even tore up in it. So it's been a really good car. There's a few little dings and dents, like little ding there, um, little paint chip right there. No big deal though, like I said, for a 2012, this thing is in great shape. Um, we are gonna be doing a few mods to it today. The first mod being, um, we actually reached out to a company they're called uh, GSP Performance. They actually sent us a cold air intake, which is right back here, right there, that we're going to be installing on the, or on the cruise here. A lot of people say the first thing, let me open this. First thing to do is get rid of the air box here. Um, like I said, this is the turbo um, 1.4, so it's turbo's right down there. But we're gonna be deleting the factory air box. Um, it's just supposed to help it flow a little better, get more air to that turbo. Um, there's a few problems wrong with these cruises that I've seen and a lot of them are to do with the turbo, like the oil feed line, um, the air box not keeping it cool and stuff. But we're gonna fix that today. Um, we're gonna go ahead and do an install video. I kinda wanna give you guys a little reveal video as well. So we're gonna get that box open, get the hood open here, start taking everything apart. And uh, yeah, so let's jump on into it. So in taking this air box out, guys, there's just multiple screws, Phillip head screws. We'll take the top off, undo all the bands here, undo the clip, undo it down here, and this should all pop off. Try and set the camera up here real quick. Just get a little time lapse of me doing this. Um, like I said, it's just a bunch of little screws, so it shouldn't take too long. Well, 
Well, I went ahead and got it installed, and all I have to say is certified race car now. So, now it was pretty easy install. Um, I kind of got ahead of myself and forgot to grab the camera. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory. I just unbolted the old box. Um, there's some rubber grommets, I'll call them, that hold the lower part of the box in. Upper part of the box is a bunch of screws, and then you have these two pipes that connect here, and then it comes down and obviously goes right here where the new one is. Um, I did end up denting it on accident. I had to trim this pipe down just a little bit and when I clamped it in the vise. Yeah, so you know, all I did is trimmed it down here a little bit because I figured we were sitting up a little too high and I wasn't for sure if the hood was going to clear it. So I mean I took off maybe an inch, maybe an inch and a half. Um, looks really good in there. I bent this bracket. I wasn't for sure where I wanted to run this. Um, there's a couple holes where the factory box goes like that sits in there and then one right up right up in there so i didn't know if i was going to bend it and just run it up so what i actually did is just bent it and took this um i think that was a five eight i believe nut off bent it tucked it tightened it back down called it good um i just realized i didn't put a hose clamp on here so i'll need to do that but no, other than that, everything went together really nice. Um, shout out to uh, GSP Performance again. Um, they actually sent this to me. All I did is install it. Um, I disconnected the battery cables while I was doing it just because of this plug-in and stuff. I didn't want it to uh, throw any codes or anything like that. So I disconnected it, just reconnected all that. I'll get this hose clamp on there, then I'll get it started up, make sure we don't have any air leaks anywhere. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Guys do say when you do this, you can hear the turbo and blow off a little bit more. So I'm kind of excited to be able to actually hear that or if it does make a change. Um, I watched quite a few videos on YouTube of guys with cold air intakes and you can just kind of hear the whoosh after you let off. So we'll see. I'm going to go ahead and get that other clamp thrown on and uh, get it started up. Cards on guys. Everything is buttoned up. Got that hose clamp on there. Um, I'll show you exactly what I was talking about. It gives you that whoosh um, noise now versus the factory air box that was restricted. So. so that's what everybody was talking about. That air box just opens, uh, or that cold air intake opens up everything in there. Um, the factory air box is really restrictive. I'll actually show you what the factory one looks like. So obviously you have all this piping on there, which isn't very restrictive. Um, you get your restrictiveness from the actual box in here. They put this honeycomb in there and I'm not sure really why. Um, but I think if you guys wanted to keep your factory box and you came in and kind of cut that out, it'd still probably do the same thing. Um, but no, we got it all. It's all held down in there nice and good. Um, I mean, it moves a little bit. That's because I only have one brace, but I mean, it's not going to go anywhere. So that being said, thank you again to uh, GSP Performance. Um, yeah, we're going to continue the mods on this thing, the 98, the 79. Um, this is going to be the daily driver, so I don't know how much modding I'll do. I'll probably end up getting some different headlights. Just because these ones up here in the corner are getting some discoloration i could probably sand them down and re-clear them and stuff but i can buy new ones for about 100 150 bucks um, might change out um, marker lights to like a tinted one and then i might do uh, the bow tie on the back the same carbon fiber as the one on the front just to get rid of kind of the mix match type stuff but yeah guys hope you enjoyed this video this is the new $2,000 daily. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Did I do good or was it a bad investment? Let me know. But remember guys, learning as I do, doing love. I'm the GMN. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.